Madison and welcome to your welcome back to my channel where today we're back on Yellow SMP for the sixth episode. Now, that being said, if we die this episode, we're dead. Just so you know, just had to forewarn you. So if I die and you just hear complete silence for a bit or crying, pay no mind to that. It's just because I'm highly upset. <laughs> anyway, so this episode we're going to be working on a farm and decorating the castle. So um, let me quickly show you what I've done off camera. Um, we're also holding the baby of undying and um, as you can see I've done a little bit of work out here. So um, we got rid of the waystone that was by our starter house and uh, we added this fence wall thing over here. Why is there so many mobs on the map? Holy crap. I think there's something under here. Crap. I'm gonna have to fix that. Anyway. Um, yeah, so we got this like little wheat farm here. I thought it like looked cute. I don't know if I'll keep it. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so that's what we have. And I've kind of mapped out where some stuff is going. So if you see some like stripped oak like planks, or not planks, uh, stripped oak logs, that's what that's for. Um, but yeah, so let me give you a little tour. So this will be like the main entrance and you'll come into this like cool looking area. So if you go this way, It'll lead you to some of the villager houses, and then that way will take you down to where we're going to have the barn. The barn and the farm down there. And then this right here, look how cute this is. I think it turned out so good. Um, but we have like this like little pond area. It has like a little dock so you can like, you know, walk from the waystone. Um, but then it has like these, uh, corundums or the crystals or whatever around. We got some flowers. I might add more flowers and stuff, um, once we like decorate more. Um, I did these two custom trees and I think they don't look, like they're not the worst I've, I've seen. Um, but I did umbrum stripped logs as the, as the base. And then I did a mix of oak and flowering oak leaves. And I think it turned out not bad, you know, like, and then I added, um, some little ghost lights up here, and I added some, like, regular white fairy lights around, and then I added the ghosts on the floor because I found that you could do that, and it's the cutest freaking thing ever, so I, I placed those around, <laughs> um, and then I added some light with the illumination wand. I also made this slight little path down here to where we have a uh, path leading to where the mine's gonna be, and then obviously the path to the castle. So, I don't think I've really done anything on the inside of the castle. Oh, I don't have my, my, uh, night vision goggles on. Hold on just a second. Oh, so much better. I can see inside the castle. Um, we do have a gift over here in front of our throne. It is from Excapade, because last episode we gave him a totem of, un totem of undying. Oh, look at the, look at the gift! Four golden apples, four gold blocks, a diamond block, blue corundum crystals, red corundum crystals, and then like the, the blocks too. So thank you, Excapade, for the very nice gift. I appreciate it. I'm gonna keep those on me and I'll leave that here and I'll put it up later. Hello, Perry. How are you doing? This is for Odo to decorate leaves all over my castle. Um, Oh, I also bought a bunch of potions from Emmy at the shop. All these I bought from Emmy, um, along with two fire resistance potion, a knockback resistance, and some water breathing potions, just in case, you know. Um, so I got those from Emmy. There's one right here. And then I also bought some a bacon sam some bacon sandwiches and some chicken sandwiches. I also got some cookies from it too from Ash's shop in the spawn area as well. This episode we're going to be decorating the castle and then we're also going to be working on um, getting a farm situated. So not like the big barn farm. I don't think anyway. We might. I don't know. Probably not. So I have a really cool idea for it. I saw it on Google and I was like, oh my gosh, that would look so cool. It matches the theme perfectly. But it's also huge, humongous, and I'm like, Madison, can you build that in survival without dying? I don't know. So, guess we're gonna find out though, because I'm probably gonna do it. <laughs> oh no, it's the blood moon. 
So another thing we could do while we're waiting for the blood moon to set is write our will because I saw that uh, Strelitzia wrote hers and I've been meaning to write mine just in case that we die, our stuff has a home, our animals have a home, you know, so we need to do that. Let's see. Okay, so I'm not going to read this on camera because it should be read after I am dead. Oh, I stared at the end and I'm so sorry. But for now, we're going to place it up here. Can you shut up? So to lay everything out, we're going to get some cobblestone to like kind of picture where we want things. Because I feel like this is the best way. And I think we probably need to take all these heads down and put them somewhere as well. Down here could be like a meeting table. So, excuse me, Mr. Enderman. If we did just a long meeting table here and then have like, you know, little chairs and stuff. So a meeting table here, and then we obviously have a rug leading this way. And then I was thinking maybe like a, a bookshelf or something here. And then we want to have something in here. Um, and we're going to tear this waystone down, actually. Oh, I was going to leave that so people could get here. Until they got the other waystone. Oh well, it's too late now. We're probably going to redo this and make it look more magical. Because this is kind of bland, if I'm being honest. Maybe like a lot more green in here. Um, and then obviously we have to decorate our bedroom. And then we have to figure out what the heck these two over here are going to be. I need to put the floor in. Oh, uh, oh, pay no mind to all my heads right there. We now have a nice little... Little aquarium. Wow. Beautiful. This is what all queens should have. Yes. Okay, so now let's sit on our thinking chair and think of another design for us to do. Okay, let's go to Pinterest. Okay, so I've worked on a few things. Not much because there's just there's just so much room in this castle that I don't know what to do with. So I'm going to need your guys' suggestions. So we'll probably do more decorating in a different episode. We did a little bit today and I think I'm going to do maybe some more later, but definitely in another episode once you guys give me some suggestions because you guys are so good with suggestions and so very smart and clever um so let me show you what i have done so right here in this like little entrance area i put like a little kitchen i moved one of the box sounds up here um but i did like a little kitchen right here um we have a little knife sticking out of the cutting board we have a fridge some pantries a stove with like a little pot on it it looks like it's bubbling then we got a little sink, and then um, over here I just put a couch. Don't really know what to put over here. Maybe like a little coffee table or something. Down here we have this little meeting table, and then over here we just have <laughs> we just have our little fish tank with our little uh, lobster in it, and that's pretty much all we have. That's pretty much all we've done. Um, I have started. Oh god, it's getting dark outside. I have started um, mapping out how the barn is going to be, and oh my gosh, this thing is going to be freaking huge. So it's going to be like a barn and a stable, but look at this. Like, it's 27 across. Yeah, so I have no idea how this barn is going to turn out, but it's going to be massive. It's going to be a huge barn up there, and that right there is a creeper. Excuse me. Go away. Okay, well, uh, I think I'm going to try to plan out the barn a bit more and think of some other ideas and uh, we'll, we'll see where that goes. Okay, so it's been a bit of time um, and it is now after we did the Halloween thing. Why is my FPS dropping like no other? Hold on. And then we have a present from May. It says, don't die anytime soon. Heart, May May. And look at all this stuff. We got Unbreaking 3. Soul fire, which I don't know what that does. Some lavender, some wither roses, some hellbark saplings, four amethyst, one heart of the sea, the soul visage, which I can control like the the little uh, the guys. I don't know what they are. This player head and a raccoon tail, which I don't know what that does, but thank you. Oh, and I guess since it's around Halloween, we still have this witch hat on, which looks pretty cool. So, Taiga left the SP, so I took a few things from her house. Nothing too much. There. Oh, wait, there was one thing I wanted to see what it was. This. Oh, this right here. 
So if I wear it on my belt, which one's the belt? If I wear it on my belt, I can double jump. <gasps> so that's how people do that. Oh my gosh. Wait, hold on. Oh no, it does not prevent fall damage. I repeat, it does not prevent fall damage. So I do need feather falling. <laughs> and then we have this much done on the barn. Honestly, a pretty good amount done on it. Um, Creeper helped us with the outline here. And I think I want to add like, I don't know, make it purple maybe? Change this to purple. I don't know, to make it stand out a bit more. I'm not sure yet. Holy crap. Oh, I forgot I put water there too. It's been a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of it. But, if we go over here, oh, you can kind of see it. It's coming into my render distance. Ta-da! We have a barn. Look how cool. It is, oh, I didn't add stairs under that side. Crap. Huh. Well, anyway, <laughs> here is the barn. It is absolutely huge. I obviously want to add, like, leaves on it. Um, we want to have a path up to it. Um, I've added these walls with these cool fence gates, um, for the animals, so we'll put the animals in here, and then in this we'll have, like, my llama, there's a wandering trader over here, um, he did lose one of his llamas, and, uh, there, it's, I think it was on the roof the last time I saw it, um, but we had to add, like, I think, like, fence between this is what the picture shows, but, like, I may just leave it at, yeah. We'll, we'll figure out what I'm gonna add there, so I'll add that in detailing, and then, um, path, and decorate the pins, and then I have to add the, the blocks up here, so this will actually be a floor. But yeah, so I think the barn looks pretty good. It is absolutely massive, though, like, huge. Like, maybe eventually we'll put animals up there as well. I've worked a bit on the path, so if we go up here... We now have a little bit of a path, and I want to add some more stuff like this. I added these umbram walls with little lanterns on them for some lighting, and then some leaves around. A little bit of rockiness around. Um, and then we just, it just like leads up here. We put some black crystals on the ground as well. Clear out a little space for it, and plunk it down right there. We have this little cart, and then if I pick, if I, nope, that's not the right one. I can wheel it around. How cool. I can also sit in the back of it, but obviously we're not going to do that right now. I also hear a spider that's probably coming to kill me. And look how cute it looks. Oh, can I put anything in this one? No, I think I can only put it in the other one. So I may do that at a later date. But that involved more work. Yeah, because you have to have chests with that. So I think that's where I'm going to end this episode, we got a lot done on the barn. We got a little bit of decorating done. Not much. If you guys have any suggestions on like what these rooms should be, on how we should decorate, please link like tell me down in the comments because I I need help. This a castle's a lot of work, you know. A, a whole kingdom is a lot of work, honestly. And I need help. Help. Help me. Help me. Leave suggestions down in the comments, or if you join my Discord, which the link is in the description. If you join my Discord, you can also leave me suggestions there, or even, like, inspiration picture ideas as well. So, um, that's gonna be it for this episode of YOLO SMP. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought, and as always, subscribe to join the Query Squad, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye Hello, ghouls and goblins. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. <laughs> um, hello, it's Madison. Um, and I'm showing off my Halloween costume. We are in a little witch's outfit, and the witch hat on my head fits perfectly. I don't... I think it's still from Halloween. I don't know. I don't know if my game's, like, not updated or whatever, but... I, you know, it matches the aesthetic. It even has the orange in it that I wanted. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but we're here at the Halloween area. Thanks for the costume contest. And, uh, here is my outfit. It's an adorable little witch's outfit, um, I, that I found online. And then I kind of customized the color to match my beautiful emote that Odo made me, which, um, if you haven't already, you should check her out because she's super cool and she's super talented. Super talented bean. Um, but yes, this is my costume. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a good day.
Hi, I'm Callum and this is my YOLO SP Halloween costume. I am a zombie schoolboy because we're quirky like that. Um, I died um, during the recording of episode 5 to a whale whilst wearing my school uniform. So I became a zombie. That, that's all I can say. I have a second life in my hand and I have the power of heaven around my neck. Um, that's my Halloween costume. Vote Caliwags for president. Bye bye. <laughs> Hello there. I am White Wolf M. Or, in this case, White Wolf Voorhees! <laughs> Hello, guys. It's just me. It's M. This is my Halloween costume for Yellow SMP Halloween 20. 21. I am Jason Voorhees. I've basically taken my skin and made it like raggedy looking and ripped up and given myself the Jason Voorhees mask because he's my favorite horror villain. I've even given myself a knife. But yeah, there we go. This is me. It is I, Liz, the Yellow Ghost Queen. Tremble before my terrible pale ghostiness. Ooh. 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 Uh, sorry. Uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, this is my Halloween costume for the competition we are holding. I hope you guys love it as much as I do because this was so worth the wait. Thank you so much to our skin helper. I love the detail. It is so pretty. I mean, it shouldn't be pretty. It's supposed to be spooky. It, it is spooky, okay? It's spooky. Anyways, I hope you guys like it just as much as I do and like everybody else's who you'll see. Anyways, uh, Liz, the YOLO Ghost Queen, out. Bye, guys! Ooh. Hello, it's Odo here, and this is my Halloween costume for the SMP to keep up with the theme of my place which is overgrown and farm life we are here with the scarecrow costume and i have a bit of a vine strapped around me as well this is the back part of it e, that's my costume Hey guys, I'm Ellie and this is my Halloween costume for Yule SMP. So as uh, some of you may or may not know, I am the pumpkin queen. So as such, I need to dress appropriately. So that means I have my lovely uh, Halloween sort of robes on here. We've got a pumpkin at the back, of course, because I'm sporting uh, that pumpkin sort of uh, aesthetic here, which is very awesome. I love the stripes. Uh, I've got a bit of like a, a long jacket on as you can see at the back. At the front here we have a nice black cropped t-shirt on and some stripy pants to go with my boots. And then of course the best of all I have my crown with the little pumpkin at the top which is awesome. So yeah this is uh, my Halloween costume. That is also my permanent uh, YOLO costume because uh, I'm the pumpkin queen. <laughs> Hey guys, Sweet Ash Gamer here, and uh, I dressed up for Halloween. Can you guess who I am? That is right. Chucky! Oh my gosh, I decided to be Chucky from Child's Play, my favorite horror movie. I worked really hard on the skin, so I hope you guys really like it. Happy Halloween! So, this is my costume for Halloween. I am a witch. And here's the back of it. Although, I... Do see now that the hair's a bit messed up from it, but yeah, it'll be fine. But yeah, this is my outfit for this Halloween. All the witchy vibes, especially with me obviously doing potions. 